very very good morning good evening hello am i able good morning yes you good are morning, good morning good okay, morning thank you good morning good morning my screen visible yes it is visible okay okay thank you So we have only one single table. Now, today we are going to learn constraint. Constraint. Uh, with the help of constraint, we can specify the restriction to save the values in a particular column. Okay, so we can specify different type of constraint on the column. First, not none. Second, unique. Third, primary key. Fourth, Okay, okay, okay. Okay. It's not working. Okay, I will check it, okay? Then after that, I will inform you. And... Uh, okay, thank you. Good. And uh, foreign key. default so sql provide us following types of constraint not null unique primary key foreign key check and default if suppose uh, we have multiple columns and uh, uh, we have not information of any particular uh, column so by default, SQL save null at that column, at that cell. Okay. But suppose we are, we are not interested to save null values on a particular column. So we can specify not null. So we can't store null value in, a, in that particular column. For example, I'm going to create a new table, create table, table name, like mp1, mp id, and here, I declare not null. mp name, Where guy two also table created. Okay, suppose we want to insert the value. Insert into MP one.
What's the EMP ID? EMP name? Integer? Yes. Okay. It working? Okay. So we have one record, 101, and implied name is Ajay. But suppose we have uh, we want to save only EMP ID. And in EMP name, we want to save null values. So for this purpose, insert into EMP1. Declare here EMP ID values 102. Okay, so in this case, in EMP ID, it will save 102, but in EMP column, it will save null values. You can see this. Okay, same as suppose we want to save null value in EMP ID. So here, you can declare EMP name. It is not possible because I have declared EMP ID as a not null. You cannot insert null value in not null EMP ID. So we can't save null value in EMP ID. Okay. We can save null value in EMP, EMP name because here I did not declare any constant uh, with the AMP name, but in AMP ID we have declared not null, so we can't save null value in AMP ID. Same as the second constant is unique. It's okay. Hello. Yes. Yes. yes okay. Okay. Suppose I'm going to create unique. Unique means we can't save duplicate value. If we have declared mm -hmm. uh, any column in unique, so we can't save duplicate value. Okay, but we can save null value. But we can't save duplicate value. So now, create Unique valid case. Good. table created and here I have declared MP ID as a unique. So in, in MP ID we can save null value but we can't save duplicate value because here I have declared unique. Okay. So insert into MP2 values 101 comma Okay, it's working. Okay. But suppose we want to save only EMP ID. Okay, it's working. If we want to save only MP name,
it's working but suppose we want to say duplicate value in emp id you can see this okay 101 ravi 102 and deepak suppose again we want to say 102 The one will do. I want to show again the unique constant. We can't save duplicate value because one zero three is already exists in table. So we can't save again it. Same as suppose I want to uh, save one zero one Ravi unique constant. We can't save duplicate values because I have declared EMP ID. As a unique. Okay. It's okay. Hello. Yeah. Yes, it is. Same as primary key. Primary key is equal to not null plus unique. Means if you have declared any key as a primary key. So we can't save null value and we can't save duplicate value. Okay, because primary key is equal to not null plus unique. So primary key is a constant. If you want to identify any record uniquely, so we use primary key. Okay, so we can create here. Create table. MP3. Declare MP ID and primary key and MP name Table created. <clears throat> so now I'm going to insert the value. Insert into the MP3 values 101. Ajay, it's working. Okay. But suppose we want to save only the value of AMP ID. Okay. This is the primary key we can save is if you want to save only AMP name. EMP ID, we can't say null value. Okay, because I have declared EMP ID as a primary key. So we can't say null value in EMP ID. Okay, second thing, if you want to save duplicate value in EMP ID, it will not work because this is a unique constraint. So we can't save null value in EMP ID, we can't save duplicate value in AMP ID because we have declared primary key. Your AMP ID has a primary key. Okay. Next. Foreign key, yes. but what is the primary key? Foreign key is a, a primary key in a, in a table. In another table, it's work like as a none key. None key means it will not include in primary key. Okay. So and for this purpose, it's a, in in easy way we can say if you want to create the relation between two table, we use foreign key. Okay. 
So for this purpose, I'm going to create a table. Create table city. Okay. And here declare city port. Where can I do? And declare as a primary key. City name here city code is a primary key. Okay, in this table, this is table name is city. I'm going to insert the value in the city, insert into city. Values for the city key. Okay. Welcome. Okay, these are the records. Okay. There's a table. Name is city. There are those two fields. City code and city name. Okay, these are the records of city. Now I'm going to create another table. Create table. Table name is EMP4. Here, EMP ID, int, primary key, MP name, where care to, and city code. City code is a normal key, none key in this table. But in city table, it is a primary key. Okay. Now, I'm going to create it as a foreign key. So, use references. City, table name is city and column name is city code. Table created. Now we want to insert the values in EMP4. EMP ID and EMP name and city code like LQ. We want to create it. Now, suppose we want to insert any other value like BKP. No, integrity constant. Because you can see here, Gorup GKP is not exist in this list. And DLS, GGN, LQ, and uh, GB because both table have a relation on the basis of this foreign key. Okay. So if uh, we want to insert the city code, so that must be exist in city table. Okay. So here, uh, LQ, LQ is exist. So it is inserted, but GKP is not exist in city table. So here it shows. Integrity constant. You can see this. Suppose 
you have declared here jp then it will work because jp is exist in this table okay so with the help of foreign key we can create the relation between two tables after that check with the help of check we can specify the condition okay so for this purpose i'm going to create a new table create table person and id int as a primary key p name person name edge integer okay if you want to specify any condition on edge so you can use check and here edge is greater equal than 18 means we can't save we can we only save the value that is a greater or equal to 18 in the edge column okay now i'm going to insert the value insert into person values id is a name a person name edge okay it's working but suppose here one two it's not working okay edge must be greater equal than 80. Okay, because we have already declared the value of edge must be greater equal than 80. Okay, same as we have a, another constant name is default. So for default, Create table MP And uh, company name okay. Oh, sorry. Drop table. To the drop table, we can delete the table. Okay, again, I'm going to create this table. PID MP name. And now I'm going to use default. Default. Okay. 
سوري جواب تيبلت Table created? No. Pencil into AMP3 values. AMP8 MP name. And company name okay but suppose here we declare this and uh, I have not information about the company name and we want to insert the value of only EMP name MP ID and EMP name. Okay. So actually I want to save null value in company column. Okay. One row, uh, one row is created. Now it's working. No problem. Select star row EMP3 and you can see this guru. Because I have to already declared it company as a group. If we want to insert null value uh, in company, so by default it will save guru value group at the place of null. Okay, because I have declared group. Okay, so these are the constant of in SQL, SQL providers, the different types of constant like not null, unique, primary key, foreign key, check and default. In not null, we cannot save null values. Unique, we can't save duplicate value. In primary key, we can't save null value and duplicate value both. In foreign key, if we want to uh, make the relation between the two tables, we use foreign key. Check if you want to specify a condition. So we use check and default value. If uh, we, uh, if we want to save, uh, we can specify a default value. If, uh, we will not declare the value of that column. So it will save a default value at the place of null. Okay. So these are the uh, different types of constant. After that. For foreign key, I have a question, sir. Yes, hello. Um, for foreign key, hello. Yeah, yes, hello. Then, yes, hello. Yeah. For foreign key, can we have two references in one table or is it just one reference that is allowed? Um, for foreign key. Uh, you want to save multiple references? Yes. Can I do that? Like yes, uh, yes, yes. You example. can. You can do oh. this. You can do this. Oh. Okay. okay suppose oh. you want to create a, 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 a suppose uh, you have a main table and you want to create hmm. a relation between multiple tables. So obviously yes. you will create the multiple reference. Oh, okay. so it is allowed, right? Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And for default value, uh, you showed right guru here, right? Yes, uh, yes. So if if I want to drop default like later on, can I do that or I do have to drop the entire table and then uh, you want it? to delete the default value? Yes. You can use alter command. Alter, okay. And so, you can modify okay. it. Okay, so so that the default can uh, yes, be altered. Yes, then, yes, right? yes. You, right? you can oh. alter. You can alter this. Okay, okay. Thank you. Most welcome. And if you were to make the relation between two tables, uh, so if you want to fetch here, I'm using uh, select star from MP3 and we, we can fetch the record of a table. But suppose we want to uh, 
uh, fetch the record from uh, more than one table. Okay, so for this purpose, we use join command. Okay, so we can make the relation between two tables and we can fetch the record from more than one table. Okay, so for this purpose, uh, we have multiple types of join like uh, inner join and uh, left join, right join, full join, left join is also called left, left outer join. Right out to join and pull out to join. Okay. Inner join is also called left join. Uh, left join is also called left out to join. Right join also called right out to join. And full join is also called full out to join. Okay. And uh, there are Another type of join, like uh, you know, inner join, like equal join, natural join. These are the different types of inner join. Okay, and left outer join, right outer join, cross join, or cortex in join. So there are multiple types of join. Okay. So uh, we can fetch the record from the uh, more than one tables at a time. So now I'm going to create example. Like create table and table name is student. The student like rule int. Primary key and uh, as name well get to and post. Uh, Uh, I'm going to insert the values into These are the records of the student table. Now I'm going to create another table.
Marcos. Vélez. Vás. ओके इधर इधर रिकॉर्ड्स हो मार्स एंड इधर रिकॉर्ड्स ऑफ़ द स्ट्रेंड एंड वी वांट टू फेस द रिकॉर्ड्स आप बोल स्टेबल्स फॉर दिस पेपर्स वी आर गोइंग टू यूज ट्राइंग कमांड सिलेक्ट स्ट्रेंड डॉट रोल तो स्ट्रेंड डॉट his name come on his friend what course come on mark start roll come on mark start ds come on mark start rank from the stable is student in a join marks on a string dot rule is equal to string dot sorry marks dot rule okay we want to fetch the record of both table so here we will use name of table is in dot role is in dot next name is dot course mass dot role mass dot ds mass dot length from student and after that we can specify the join inner join left inner join left join right join full join any join and inner join and the second table name is marks on we we can specify the condition on the basis on is in dot role is equal to is in a mass dot role press enter and you can see this if we are using inner tail join so it will show the common records means one zero one and one zero two are exist in both table so it will show the common records of both table okay if uh, we are using here left join so it will show the left join means This is a left table. This one is a left table, and uh, mass is a right table. Okay, according to this example. Okay, we can if we will declare a student at the place of uh, mass at the place of student. So mass will be left student left table. Okay, but in this scenario, in this example, a student is a left and mass is a right table. Okay, so if we want to, if we use left join or left outer join, so in this scenario, it will show the all records of left student, left table, and only the matching records of right table. Okay, you can see this. It will show the all records of the left table in the student, only the matching column, matching records of right table. Okay. If we are using here right, so it will show all records of right table with Mars table. Only the matching records of left table. Yeah, you can see this. It will show all records of Mars. Only the matching records of student because we are using right table. 
if we are using full join, so it will show all records of both table. All records of both table. So as per our date, we can use any join. Join commands. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can see this. Here we are using A. So at the place of complete table name, we can also use here you say student dot tool, student dot names, name is run mass. At the place of we can use allies. At the place of student here I have declared A. At the place of uh, Marks here. I use B. So here declare student as a, a and Mars as a B. So we can also use allies. Okay. Okay. We can also use using at the place of on. Okay, here yeah, this you can see this here. Yes. We can use using using keyword at the place of on. But in this case, we cannot use roll number here. We can declare only others column like uh, S name, physics, chemistry. Okay, we can choose. Roll number. Roll number we will use because we are creating the relation on the basis of roll number. So, we will use roll number in using function. Okay. So, it will show like here. Okay. Like so you can see here. We can remove this at the place of on. We can use it and roll. Okay, but remove this. You can see this. Okay, column part of the using clause cannot be have qualified. So here, please remove your roll number. Okay, and I'm going to use inner inner zone. Okay, so we have not to specify the rule. Okay, and at the place of a student, we can use any allies like S. We can declare any allies.
print as S, Mars as M. Okay. And uh, equation. Suppose here this is a student full join in as one. Okay. We want to use LX. So here we declare S dot rule. S dot name S dot course M dot rule M dot DS M dot lang student the as S marks as M here S dot rule is equal to M dot rule. Okay, you can see this. Okay, and uh, in uh, there are different types of inner join. We can also use equal join. Equal join means we have not need to specify use inner. Okay, and we can use it. No problem. Okay, and uh, here I have declared M dot rule and S there rule. Okay. So S roll is equal to M roll. Okay. But only in equation, if you are you are using in equation, we use only join keyword. Okay. And we have not need to use equa. And uh, S dot roll is equal to uh, M dot roll. And uh, here we cannot use any other operator. In if you are using join means equal join so we can use only equal sign we cannot use any other like greater equal we can't use it we can only use equal join it means equal sign okay and Natural join. Okay, we have not written to say any condition on or anything. They select to start from student natural join and mass. So it will uh, automatically it will uh, create the relation between on the basis of roll number and show the information of point table. Okay. Any doubt? Any queries? Hello. It's okay. Now I'm going to this. Please take it. If you have any doubt, any queries, please share. And the session two files are I have already shared you in the last session. So please take that example. And I am also sharing these examples. Please check it. Please check this example. If you have any doubt, any queries, please share it. Uh -huh. 
Hello, Professor. <clears throat> yes, hello. Is it working? Okay. Um, are are you gonna uh text me a link to download um Oracle on Mac as well, like later, or are you gonna? Okay, I will check <laughs> it, Tarek. Okay. Okay, fair. Then I I will inform you. Okay, thank you. Okay, if uh, Linux will work on your Mac, so uh, Linux you can you will install. Otherwise, I will search for, especially for Mac. If I will get okay. it, so okay. Yeah, otherwise, we we tried Linux last time and it didn't work. Okay, okay. So you can try it. Otherwise, I will uh, I will take it. Okay. I think Linux will work on your uh, Mac, but I will I check tried, it. But it didn't work. Okay, okay, okay. So I will check it. Also, is it is it possible? Did you already upload the vi lecture video from last session? I I wasn't here. I was sick. Uh yes, I have already shared to uh, Guru School. So I think uh, they will upload on the, here. This video is the seven four was batch. Which batch? Oh, uh, 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 yeah. I was asking. Uh, before six. I've already shared the video, but uh, okay, I think they will be uploaded. Day seven, yes, yes. Day seven, day, 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 yes, yes. I've already shared to Guru School, so they will upload okay. on YouTube. Okay. From yesterday. Uh yes yes, I think one or two days before I have, uh, shared this video. I think okay. uh, they have some confusion. But they will upload. So today is day seven, no? Uh, today is day seven. Wait. I think today is day eight. Oh, okay, so day seven is there. Okay. Yeah, the day seven is already uploaded here. You can see this. Okay, okay. Thank you. Oh, sorry. This is day eight. Today is day eight, sure. Date. Okay, this is day seven. You can access it. Okay, thank you. Most welcome. It's okay. Jitika? Okay. Okay, please take it. If you have any doubt, any queries, you can share me. Thank you, thank you all.